Hey guys, today I'll be unboxing the Microsoft Surface Pro 9. This one just came out on October 25th, so not too long ago. Now before I do that, I just wanna show a couple of different points for this specific one. So compared to the Microsoft Surface Pro 8, it has a little bit better performance. Um, it's 65% faster for i5 models and 50% faster for i7 models compared to the Surface Pro 8. So it is completely dependent on which one you bought. Obviously that's just the number of cores that the laptop has. Um, it also claims to have better specs and new colors. So some of the new colors are Sapphire, Forest, Platinum, and Graphite. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this. After I unbox it, I'll also give you some more information on prices. Obviously Obviously you can customize it. So you can customize it based on how much storage you want, memory as well, and the price will vary depending on that. I'm excited to show you guys what's inside. Okay, this is the best part. I haven't unboxed something like this in a long time either. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Before I continue unboxing, let me just read what's on here really quick. So it includes the Microsoft Surface Pro 9 with Windows 11 Home, power supply support for Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.1, and Thunderbolt 4 technology. All right. Probably a better way to open this, but whatever. Okay, I'm so excited. Why is the cover so dirty? Do you guys see that? The cover is so dirty right now, I don't even know why. This is kind of crazy. Well, it doesn't really matter, right? It's not for the cover. Although I did want to take a picture with the cover afterwards, so we'll see. Ooh, that was quick. That was like a quick unboxing. <laughs> oh my god, it's like teeny tiny. It's so cute. Look at that. It's pretty thin, actually. I do love the lightweight laptops. And I mean, this can also be an iPad, right? So it doesn't come with a keyboard. So you're gonna have to get a keyboard yourself, but you could use it as an iPad as well. So it's fairly lightweight for people who don't like to carry around heavy things, who travel pretty often. It's, it's like the perfect laptop for you. Let's open it up, shall we? Ooh. Oh my God, this is so weird. This opens up so weird. What is happening? It doesn't even look like a laptop, actually. <laughs> I don't even know. And no, I haven't had the, oh, whoa. That looks nice. Look at that. <laughs> you can see my camera set up. Yes, I'm using the iPhone to film this. This is pretty nice. Okay, so as you can see here, this basically is a stand. So it can sit like this as well, which is pretty nice. So I'll just show you guys a side view of how thin it is. See how thin that is? You don't really see laptops this thin anymore. I mean, I feel like it's weird. There was a phase where they were getting thicker and thicker and now they're just getting thinner, honestly. And that's what that looks like. And it's really easy to just use it kind of as a tablet, right? There's a keyboard um, that pops up as well. And, and so that should work out just fine. Okay, so before I move on, let's talk specs again. I don't, I haven't memorized any of these specs, so let's see. So it has the Windows 11 Home, and then again, you can either choose between the Intel Core i5 or Intel Core i7. So in terms of pricing, let's talk about that, because that's pretty important, right? So with the Intel Core i5 and the Intel Core i7, so remember, you can buy either one of those. The one with eight gigabytes RAM and 128 gigabytes SSD is $999.99, so it's $1,000 which is pretty reasonable, honestly. It's $1,099 for eight gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes SSD, which I think it's worth it for an extra hundred bucks. Like that's not that bad at all. So $1,400 for 16 gigabytes RAM, 256 gigabytes SSD. So now you're increasing the RAM, which in my experience, if you are running like heavy applications, like using an IDE to edit or using like a video editor, for example, or like even if you're a gamer, I would recommend having a higher amount of RAM as well. I don't think I would get the eight gigabyte RAM, I would personally get the 16 gigabyte RAM gigabyte RAM, which is what I ended up getting here as well. So that's with the i5 Intel core. So you also want to decide which core you want. The i7 obviously just has more cores. So that's better in terms of processing power. So we have the $1,600 16 gigabyte RAM, 256 gigabyte SSD. And that's actually the one that I got. And that comes in all the different colors. So there are a couple of these that only come in one color. I don't really know if that's a big deal to people. Personally, I honestly, I couldn't care less what color my laptop was. So anyways, this 
This one has all the colors though, the ones that I had specified earlier. And this is the one that I ended up getting. So this one is $1,600. It's a little pricey, but I did get it over Black Friday. So I got it for, I think it was like $1,200, something like that. But I also paid an extra like $100 just for the two year warranty. Because you know, if something were to happen to it, you probably want to have that covered for a couple of years. So the next price up is $1,900. Now they start getting really expensive in my opinion, at least for a Microsoft laptop. The MacBooks are pretty expensive as well, which I'm also doing an unboxing on that later. We have the $1,900 16 gigabyte RAM, 512 gigabyte SSD, and then the 2200 16 gigabyte RAM, one terabyte SSD, $2,600 for 32 gigabyte RAM, one terabyte SSD. Now these to me seem more like enterprise laptops. Businesses are probably buying these for their employees. When I used to work at several like different companies, I would get the one terabyte of SSD, the newer laptops with the most memory and storage possible, just because sometimes you're gonna have to store a lot of data. You're gonna have to run pretty heavy applications. Um, and so that just works better in terms of processing or in terms of memory and storage, as well as using the i7 in terms of processing, the i7 core. There are also business models. I won't go through that. I'm assuming you're an individual and you're looking to see if this is the right model for you. So 13 inch pixel sense Pixel Sense Flow Display. The resolution is 2880 by 9, 1920. Density is 267 PPI. I don't know if this is stuff that you guys are interested in, but I'm just gonna say it. The color profile is sRGB and vivid. Dynamic refresh rate up to 120 Hertz. Aspect ratio is three to two, and the contrast ratio is 1200 to one. So there's a lot of information here, and I'm gonna, again, link this in the description below, just because I think it's easier to visualize it and see it alongside comparisons to other models models and other products as well. So let's go ahead and finish unboxing because obviously there's still the power cable. There's still a couple of other things in the box that I wanted to show you. So is it a manual? It is a manual. Oh, should we turn it on? Maybe we should, we should turn it on too, right? I'm guessing. Okay. Hey, that's nice of them. Tells me where the power button is. I probably wouldn't have been able to find it anyways, but let's turn it on. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's turning on. Cool. I will admit, this is not a laptop for me. This is for my boyfriend, so I don't wanna set it up right now. Well, maybe I'll set it up, but I also want him to have the joy <laughs> of setting this up right now. So there's some manuals, as you can see. This is the hardware agreement right here. Oh, we also, oh, that looks so nice. Oh, look at that. I don't know why I'm freaking out about it. It's just a laptop, but presentation is really important. To set up your device using a screen reader, turn on narrator by pressing Windows plus Control plus Enter. For more accessibility features, press Windows plus U or select the accessibility icon mm -hmm. in the bottom corner. Maybe I should set it up? Should I? Okay, maybe I will. So I am gonna pick my boyfriend's region. Maybe I should call him and ask if this is, maybe I should not be setting this up if this is not my laptop. I never opened this up. This is the power cable, basically. This is the power cable. So there's this, right, right here. This is for the actual laptop. The next video that I'm doing is MacBook Pro, you guys. So you wanna check that out. That is my laptop. So that one I will be setting up and opening and you guys will be able to see what it looks like, which I'm really excited. Hopefully that was interesting. Sure was for me. And this laptop looks great. I'm excited to watch it get set up eventually. Maybe I'll do another video when we're actually setting this up. I'll probably end up setting it up with him. This is it, you guys, look at, look at that. It's freaking beautiful. Look at that thing. All right, cool. Well, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. That's pretty much it. See ya, bye.